Hey everyone, John Bella here. Today we're going to take a quick look at a common component design pattern in React. Presentational and container components. Presentational and container components is a term that describes a design pattern for building React applications where you separate your components into two buckets. Presentational, which are concerned with how things look, and container, which are concerned with how things work. The pattern has been fundamental to the design of React since its inception, but really gained prominence after Dan Abramov's post in 2015, which I'll link in the notes below. Today, we're primarily going to focus on what this pattern is, what problems it solves, and how we use it. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the code that's on the screen. So we have this button component, which is a class component and implements an onClick method. So with this onClick method, we're calling it here every time the button is clicked. And then we're hard coding button component as the text in this button. Then we're actually implementing or, or outputting this component inside of our app component. The problem with this is that this button component is not reusable. No matter where we use it, no matter what context we use it in, any time we click this button, it will just console log the words button clicked, and it will always say button component. This is not a good pattern for building applications because you're gonna end up with a lot of reused markup or a lot of duplicated markup. You're gonna end up with a lot of, a lot of spaghetti code actually. So what, what this pattern is intending to do is take this button component and make it more reusable. So let's implement that as a presentational component. So we can actually render it as a function component. We'll pass props into it. We'll say button on click. Then when we click it, we want to call the on click method that is passed to it via props. And then inside it, we want to say props.text is the text we render inside it. So we can ditch this entirely. Then in our app method, in our app, we can create a method called on click, which will console log the word app clicked. Words, uh, sorry. On click, then we pass that to our button. And then we want the text to say app. Now, we save that and it reloads. We click that, now we get app clicked. Excellent, so we can reuse this component in a lot of different places. So the next thing we can do is actually just show how it is reusable. So we'll create another component and we'll call this one form. We'll give this one an onClick method that console logs form submitted, render, return, button on click, sorry, lost what I was doing. Now, we can save that and then render this inside here. So now we have two buttons. We have submit and we have app. When we click submit, we expect form submitted to be console logged, which we see here. And when we click app, we get app clicked. So this button has styles attached to it, has a couple of props that it uses, and can be reused in any context in my application without me having to restyle buttons, without me having to make adjustments elsewhere. This pattern is how a lot of design systems work these days. So a lot of design systems will provide a, a, an array of presentational components that can then be implemented in applications where the container components will implement those presentational components. So what problems does this solve? Better separate, se uh, excuse me, better separation of concerns. You understand your app and your UI better by writing components this way. 
better reusability. As you can see, this same button component was reused in multiple places in this application to meet the needs of each of those places. Presentational components can be reused across applications since they are quote unquote dumb components, meaning they just take props and they return a component that uses those props. So it also allows us to kind of get rid of a lot of crufty components that maybe had a lot more presentation to them than container to them. So now separating those out makes your application much more readable and much more maintainable. So just to review one more time, presentational components are components that are concerned with how things look. Container components are concerned with how things work. By separating these, you can build more robust applications with much more reusable components. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter at John Bella. Thank you so much and have a great day.